Let's do some more percentage problems. Let's say that um, I start this year in my stock portfolio with $95. And I say that my portfolio, portfolio grows by, let's say, 15%. How much do I have now? Have now. OK, I think you might be able to figure this out on your own, but of course, we'll, we'll do some example problems, just in case it's a little confusing. So I'm starting with $95. And I'll get rid of the dollar sign. We know we're working with dollars. $95, right? And. I'm going to earn, or I'm going to grow, just because I was an excellent stock investor. I, it, that $95 is going to grow by 15%. So to that $95, I'm going to add another 15% of 95. So we know we write 15% as a decimal, as 0.15. So 95 plus 0.15 of 95, so this times 95. That dot is just a time sign. It's not a decimal, it's a times. It's a little higher than a decimal. So 95 plus 0.15 times 95 is what we have now, right? Because we started with $95, and then we made another 15% times what we started with. Hopefully that makes sense. Another way we say it, the $95 has grown by 15%. So let's just work this out. This is the same thing as 95 plus, well, what's 0.15 times 95? Let's see. So let me do. Hopefully, I have enough space here. 95 times 0.15. I don't want to run out of space. Actually, let me do it up here. I think I'm about to run out of space. 95 times 0.15. 5 times 5 is 25. 9 times 5 is 45. Plus 2 is 47. 1 times 95 is 95. Bring down the 5, 12, carry the 1, 15. And how many decimals do we have? 1, 2, 15.25. Is that right? I think I made a mistake here. Let's see, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 2 is 47. And we bring in 0 here, that's 95. Right? 1 times 5, 1 times 9. And then we add 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. Oh, see, I made a mistake. It's 14.25, not 15.25. So I'll ask you an interesting question. How did I know that 15.25 that was a mistake? Well, I did a reality check. I said, well, I, I know in my head that 15% of 100 is 15. So 15% of 100 is 15. How can 15% of 95 be more than 15? I think that might have made sense. I, the, the bottom line is 95 is less than 100. So 15% of 95 had to be less than 15. So I knew my answer, 15.25, was wrong. And so it turns out that I actually made an addition error, and the answer is 14.25. So the answer is going to be 95 plus 15% of 95, which is the same thing as 95 plus 14.25, so 95 plus 14.25, well, that equals what? 109.25. 109.25. Notice how easy I made this for you to read, especially this 2 here. 109.25. So if I start off with $95 and my portfolio grows, or the amount of money I have grows by 15%, I'll end up with $109 and a quarter. Let's do another problem. Let's say um, I start off with some amount of money. And after a year, let's say I, uh, my, my portfolio grows, my portfolio grows 25%. And after after growing 25%, I now have, um, let's say I now have $100. How much did I originally have? 
Notice, I'm not saying that the $100 is growing by 25%. I'm saying that I start with some amount of money. It grows by 25%. And I end up with $100 after it grew by 25%. To solve this one, we, we might have to break out a little bit of algebra. So let x equal what I start with. What I start with. So just like the last problem, I start with x, and it grows by 25%. So x plus 25% of x is equal to 100. And we know this 25% of x, we can just rewrite as x plus 0.25 of x is equal to 100. And now actually we have a level, actually this might be a level 3 system, a level 3 um, uh, a linear equation. But the bottom line, we could just add the coefficients on the x. So here we, x is the same thing as 1x, right? So 1x plus 0.25x, well that's just the same thing as 1 plus 0.25x, we're just doing the distributive property in reverse, equals 100. And what's, what, what's 1 plus 0.25? Yeah, it's easy, it's 1.25. So you say 1.25x is equal to 100. Not too hard. And after you do a lot of these problems, you're going to intuitively say, oh, if some number grows by 25% and it becomes 100, that means that 1.25 times that number is equal to 100. And if, if this doesn't make sense, sit and think about it a little bit. Maybe you rewatch the video, and, and, and hopefully it'll, over time, uh, start to make a lot of sense to you. And this, not, this type of math is very, very useful. I actually I work at a hedge fund, and I'm doing this type of math in my head day and night. So 1.25 times x is equal to 100. So x would equal 100 divided by 1.25. I just realized you probably don't know what a hedge fund is. I, I invest in stocks for a living. Anyway, back to the math. So x is equal to 100 divided by 1.25. So let me make uh, some space here, just because I used up too much space. Let me get rid of my little let x statement. Actually, I think we we know what x is, and we know how we got to the there. If you forgot how we got there, you can. I guess rewatch the video. Let's see. Now let me make the pen thin again. And go back to the orange color. OK, x equals 100 divided by 1.25. So we say 1.25 goes into 100.00. I'm going to add a couple of zeros. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I probably added too many. If I move this decimal over 2 to the right, then I need to move this one over 2 to the right. Right, and I say, well, how many times is 100 going to 100? Uh, how many times does 125 go into 100? None. How many times does it go into 1,000? It goes into it eight times. I happen to know that in my head, but you could do trial and error and think about it. Eight times, uh, if you want to think about it, eight times 100 is 800, and then eight times 25 is 200, so it becomes 1,000. You could work it out if you like, but I think I'm running out of time, so I'm going to do this fast. Eight times 125 is 1,000. Remember, this, this thing isn't here. 1,000. So 1,000 minus 1,000 is 0. So you can bring down the 0. 125 goes into 0, 0 times. And we just keep getting zeros. This is just a decimal division problem. So it turns out that if your portfolio grew by 25% and you ended up with $100, you started with $80. And that makes sense. Because 25% is roughly 1 fourth, right? So if I start with $80 and I grow by 1 fourth, that means I grew by $20, because 25% of 80 is 20. So if I start with 80 and I grow by 20, that gets me to 100. Makes sense. So remember, all you have to say is, well, some number times 1.25, because I'm growing it by 25%, is equal to 100. Don't worry, if you're con still confused, I'm going to add um, at least one more presentation on a couple of more examples like this.